who is there? Who dares disturb my sleep? A human knight. And you are here to try to rescue your oh-so-loved ruler. Ha ha ha. I have bad news for you, fool. You won't be leaving this place with them. You probably won't even leave this place alive. Oh, look at you. So brave, pointing your little sword at me as if this toy you called a weapon could do me harm. Watch and learn, little knight, as this is true power. Yes, run, you coward. Go and let the others know that only the bravest of the bravest can take your ruler away from me. Your Majesty, you can come out from behind the stone wall now. After the fright I gave him, he's far gone. This is the third time this week that your guards have invaded my cave and woke me up in the middle of the night. They're probably trying to catch me off guard. I'm getting really tired of this, you know. When are you leaving? You said the same thing five days ago, and still, here you are. I don't care if you're stressed with the kingdom's matters and you need a break. The next time a knight appears, I'm going to pretend I lost the fight so they can take you back to the castle. Your Majesty, I need my beauty sleep. My scales are getting dry with all this stressful situation. Yes, of course, all the gold coins and jewels you give me are a great addition to my hoard, but I'm starting to think this is really not worth all the trouble. Don't make that face. If you think doing puppy eyes will make me change my mind... You're wrong. Honestly, if I knew all those years ago, when we first met, that I would be losing sleep because of you, I wouldn't have made that deal. Yes, I remember it like it was yesterday. You were pretty young back then. I'd just taken the crown. You managed to sneak out of the castle and went straight to a tavern because you wanted to drink beer for the first time. I was pretty young too just 200 years old. It was the first time I transformed into my human form, and it was the first time I was interacting with humans, so it was all pretty confusing to me. You paid for my drinks that I didn't even know I was supposed to pay for, and we spent all night together after that. Oh, <laughs> stop bragging. I didn't reveal that I was a dragon because I trusted you from the beginning. I revealed I was a dragon because I was drunk. Yes, I know. You told me that you were the new ruler, and you said that you didn't want all this pressure and workload on your shoulders, that you didn't have any other option. Then I just made the biggest mistake of my life. I offered to, I offered to kidnap you once a month so you'll be able to relax in my cave for a few days each time. Well, sure, in the beginning... I loved all the shiny jewels and fine clothes you gave me in exchange for the kidnaps, but... And I really used to enjoy scaring your knights, but now... I'm tired. I want to stop doing that. Don't even try. There's nothing you can offer me that will make me reconsider. The crown? You're going to give me the crown? Are you crazy? Even though I know you can't do something like that without ruining your entire reputation. Well, the crown's jewels are really pretty. And shiny. And colourful. But no. You can't do that, and even if you could, I wouldn't accept it. I'm sorry, but it's time you stop running away from your responsibilities. I know you can be a good ruler. You just have to stop procrastinating. Yes, I know it's hard. Believe me, I've been avoiding finding a mate for years now. My father told me that if I don't find a wife or a husband soon, he's going to find it for me. And I don't trust his taste when it comes to finding a spouse. He mated with my mother, after all. And we all know she's crazy. What? What do you mean you just had a great idea that will help us both? 
So you want us to have an arranged marriage. How would that help us? So my father will leave me alone and you can give all your workload to me? You're such a lazy human. I am not doing that. I already told you, the puppy eyes won't get you anywhere. You're willing to share the workload. So, half for you and half for me? Hmm. Well. If I were to marry you, my father wouldn't just leave me alone. He would also be pretty impressed I was able to get a human with royal blood. And if I'm the ruler's husband, I can wear the crown, right? And I can hold the royal scepter, too. Yeah. And sit on that beautiful golden throne. So tempting. But, but we still have a problem. And I'm not sure we can overcome that. Are you really asking me what's the problem? Can you not see it? I am a dragon. You are human. We are completely different species. Yes, I have a human form, but that's still weird. Mm. We can make a test. Let's kiss and see how we feel about it. My father always told me that if I kiss someone and I feel butterflies in my stomach, it's because they're the right one for me. If that's how he felt when he kissed my mother for the first time, no. He said he felt a small apocalypse was happening in his stomach. He said that's a red flag that he shouldn't have ignored. Anyway, let's get this over with. I'll just transform myself into the human form first. Yeah. It's been some time since I was last human. So stop saying weird stuff, but thank you for saying I am a handsome human being. Now, shall we? I'm kind of nervous. It's my first go at this. Oh, okay, okay. I'll let you lead then. Right. Tilt my head and... Hmm. No mini apocalypse happening. That's a good sign, right? What about butterflies? I'm not sure. Maybe we should try again. Yeah, there's butterflies for sure. What about you? Yeah, so maybe we really do match. Mm. That's surprising. Well, yes. Let's try the marriage thing. But with one condition. Kiss. I want to do it again. And again. And again. Just to see if we'll keep getting butterflies. You know, just because of that. We can have to do much more than kissing once we're married. What is it? What do you mean? You'll teach me. Teach me what? Stop smiling like that, you're getting me nervous. Oh god. Now I feel more than just butterflies. Is this a small apocalypse happening in my stomach? Oh god.